Today we're going to talk about embedding social media tools in your course. You may think they're just for socializing, but tools like Twitter and Facebook can promote peer-to-peer -peer and peer-to-instructor discussion. Plus, they're a great way to look cool in front of your students, and who doesn't want to be the cool teacher? So we're going to look at Twitter, but this process works the same for any social media tool or any application that works with Canvas. So once you've mastered this, you can use it to embed any application. So start by going to the settings area in the bottom left corner of your course. Then click on the apps tab here. Now what works best for me is to click on the link that says click here to see some LTI tools that work great with Canvas. Click on this and it takes you to the EduApps page. Scroll down and then click on the Twitter icon. When you scroll down and see the URL, the configuration URL right here, highlight it and copy it. It's going to become important in a minute. So go back to your apps page in your course and click on view app configurations. This is where you're going to find all the apps that are connected to your course. Here click on the blue button that says add new app and that opens up this window. So let's go ahead and name the app. We're going to call it Twitter. Now, this is a public application, so you don't need a consumer key or a secret key to get into it. But you do need to enter something in the consumer key area or Canvas isn't going to accept the app. So I'm going to put the number 1. Scroll down to configuration type, go to URL, and then paste in the configuration URL into the configuration URL window, and then click Submit. And now you can see the Twitter uh, Twitter is now enabled in your course. So now you're configured, but what about that Twitter feed? Well, that's super easy to set up. First, you start a page in Canvas and put it in edit mode. See the uh, blue bird here in the rich text editor in edit mode? This means Twitter is configured. Click on the bird and you'll get a box that says embed Twitter results. So what's that? Well, this window is where we're going to put the code for the Twitter results for this page. But we do need to tell Twitter what to look for. So let's log into Twitter. Yes, you will need a Twitter account to uh, use this, but you're, it'll only take you about 30 seconds to set one up. So now I'm in my account, and I'm going to click on the gear here in the top right-hand corner and scroll down to Settings. In this window, I'm going to select Widgets right here, and then I'm going to select Create New Widget. The widget is what's going to appear in your course. So let's click search right here and we're going to create the search parameters related to this widget. Uh, it's usually hashtag something as you can see right here. Uh, the search term should be something that obviously relates to your course content. Uh, in this case I'm going to search hashtag world series because that's just what happens to be going on right now. Uh, now you can see there are other options on this page but the default options work just fine in Canvas. So once you're happy with the settings, you can click on Create Widget. See that code in the bottom right hand corner? That's our embed code. Highlight it and copy it. Then go back to your Canvas course and paste that embed Twitter code in your embed Twitter results box. Then click Add. And it's a big yellow box. Congratulations! Actually, no, what we need to do is we need to click on Save Changes. And once the page recycles, you have a Twitter feed based on the results you used in your hashtag. So that's it. Five minutes of work, and you're, you've now connected with your students in a meaningful way that communicates with them using a tool they already understand and use. That's our training for today. I look forward to the opportunity to work with you in future sessions.